At Model AI, our goal is to help make game production smarter and faster thanks to our expertise in artificial intelligence. But in order to write the future of AI for games, we need to know a little about its past as well. How AI has been used to create the characters we love and hate, and sometimes how it guides the game itself to become something more exciting. Creating a fun experience in a video game is often like theatre. It's all about lining up your actors in the right place and at the right time. When all the mechanics and features of the game line up just right, it keeps players really focused on the experience. It builds that immersion and helps separate good games from great ones. But unlike an actual theater play, not only is the audience participating in the performance, we're also moving around quite a lot. So the stage of the performance is constantly moving to where the player is, and it becomes a real challenge to make sure that they feel like they're part of that experience. As games become larger in scope and in scale, this has led to another major innovation for game AI that we call directors. As the name implies, this AI system is responsible for managing the player's experience, and the game that set the standard for this is absolutely left for dead, the four-player survival shooter by Turtle Rock Studios in 2008. Trapped in a zombie apocalypse, a team of four players needs to make their way through the war-torn and ravaged streets as hordes of the infected await to munch down on you. The director AI is designed to manage the game's pacing. It decides when to put the pressure on by adding more and more zombies, as well as to take its food off the gas and allow you some respite. The director is really just a finite state machine, much like what was uh, used for the characters in, say for instance, Half-Life. But instead of controlling a specific character, it has two distinct jobs. It spawns in new zombies to chase the player, and it also decides which specific players to target. It decides who to attack because it's actually monitoring your perceived stress level, really how much you're being attacked and from how far away. So if you're picking off enemies from afar, you don't seem too stressed, but if there's 10 zombies all scratching you at once, you're probably a little bit more stressed than usual. The AI director then uses this information to move through three states. The build-up, where it tries to increase everyone's stress levels. The peak, where it now throws everything at you because it knows you're all feeling the pressure. And then a cooldown, where it lets you heal up, reload and get those stress levels back down to normal. The rate at which it moves through the three states also changes. So if you're playing like a team, and moving through the level at a good pace, it is actually a little less punishing. But if you're moving too slowly, or sprinting through the level, the director is much more aggressive and tries to knock you down hard. It also pays attention to whether you bunch up together. So if you decide to go all commando and run around by yourself, the director targets you specifically because you're not playing by its rules. You still see directors used in a lot of games that share Left 4 Dead's DNA, such as uh, Vermintide and Payday 2, uh, plus new stuff is on the horizon like Redfall and Back for Blood. But the idea of directors is equally applicable in other genres. Open world franchises such as uh, Far Cry and The Witcher have systems that embrace directors to service their own game design needs. This can mean ensuring they only spawn AI characters near the player to keep performance costs down or balancing how many attack you at once and how powerful they are. AI directors are even used in horror games like Alien Isolation, so the player can't continue to evade the monsters hunting you down. It's all about keeping that laser focus on the player's experience, while also making sure these games don't slow to a crawl as a result. Of course, director AI is but one of the many innovations developers have created over the years to service their creative ideas. So be sure to join us next time as we continue to explore the history of AI for games.